Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, compañeros. Cuatro, necesito cuatro o cinco, y aunque no cobren, ni modo. Buenas noches, compañero. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Muy bien, aquí con calor, mire. Y para llover más noche. De seguro, ojalá que refresque. Sí. Está bien, me alegro verla. Igualmente, compañero. Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you Good today? Evening. Good evening. And God is Friday. Good evening. Okay, let's get it started tonight with the first attendance of the evening. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Ana Celia Mena. Yet. Ana María Marcela Siu. Present. Okay. Welcome. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Very good. Welcome. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Blanca. Yet. Diana Vanessa López. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Edith Maritza Gómez. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Okay, very good. Gerson Orlando Deodanes. Absent. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Irma Mercedes Flores. Iván Alberto Castillo. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Okay, welcome. Manuel Alberto Mena. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present teacher. Welcome. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good. Welcome. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Raúl Enrique Campos. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. 
Present teacher, este, mire, ahorita voy de camino, voy saliendo de la oficina. Te voy a apagar la cámara un ratito. Ok, ok. Analice Pérez y Josué Pomori. Alguien que ya llegó. Yo acabo de llegar. Ah, cómo no. Ana Celia Mina. Present. Perfect. Very good. Okay, last class we finished talking about um, frequency adverbs. Oh, let's start tonight with next lesson. Okay. Continue talking about ongoing activities at the workplace. Tonight's objective is uh, at the end of the class, you will be able to provide instructions for action or activities in simple commands. Provide instructions for actions or activities in simple commands. Okay, well, there are two questions here. Let's think about these questions. First question says, how often do you write memos? Oh, how often do you write memos? Do you write memos? Who writes memos here? Raise your hand if you write memos. Nobody writes memos here? So if I ask you how often do you write memos, so you would say never. Okay. What about the second question? Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Yes or no? No. No. Carl says no. I am subalterno. <laughs> no, nobody gives instructions to other co-workers? No. <laughs> okay, you do you receive instructions? That's it. Is. Ah. <laughs> so you receive instructions. You don't give instructions. Okay. Ah, but could be some simple instructions like uh, a coffee or or a print this port or uh, clean the office or I don't know, give me uh, some paper. Okay, not orders, but simple instructions like, like those. Yeah, oh, pass me the, the coffee or pass me the sugar. Those are simple instructions. Okay. Turn on the music, turn on the AC, the air conditioner, or turn on the light, or turn off the light. Close the door, close the window. Those are instructions. Okay, we have a conversation here between Marcia and Luke. Let me record the conversation first.
Okay, let me record the conversation. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, there you are. One more time, listen, pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Knowledge practice. Repeat after me, please. Please send this package. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Do you need, Do you anything, need anything, anything else? else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Actually, actually yes. yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general, the general, for the general meeting. meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Right, right, right away. Yes. Give, Give me one, one of those memo, memo stickers, sticker, please. please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Sure, sure. sure. here, here you, you go. go. You go. Oh, oh. No. and no. look, please supervise, supervise, supervise the, new the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, now I am Marcia and you are Luke. Okay, I begin. Please send this package. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you need, Do you need anything, anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Right away. Right you. away. Give me uh, one of one those one memo stickers. Please. Memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Very good. Now let's switch. Uh, you are Marcia, and I am Luke. You begin. One, two, three. Please, please send, send this package. package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, Actually yes. 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 Please write, please write a memo about the new about day, 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 day in the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. 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 You go. go. Oh, oh, no. Look, no. No. look, please, please supervise the new, supervisor the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. Teacher, what, what is pronunciation? Items or items? Uh, interns. Yes, interns. Interns. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now I uh, will send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation. And I also want you to respond uh, these commands, to complete these commands, okay? Using the conversation, complete these commands. So 
practice the conversation and complete this command. Deform the groups. Okay, so only Rodrigo, Manuel e Iván me han puesto que no, que solo van a estar por un momento con clientes. Todos los demás están, ¿verdad? Fernando, Josué. ¿Estamos? Ready. Okay, Fernando, are you ready? Fernando one, Fernando two, Fernando is out. Here. I see the whole. Okay. Veamos entonces. Go to your group. Please practice the conversation and respond to complete the comments. See you in 10 minutes. Habilite para compartir pantalla. Podría habilitarnos para compartir pantalla, por favor. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, listo. Gracias. You. Ahí está.
Okay, welcome back. Let's practice the conversation. Oh. Edgar, ¿con quién estabas, Edgar? Conmigo. No se le. Ah, ok. Sí. Ya no me aparece. Okay. Edgar, micrófono. Adelante entonces. Slide. Right. Action. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memory stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, group number two, Andrea and Rafael. Okay. Camera, action. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. Now. Next group is I don't know, Fernando and Rodrigo. Este teacher no no practicamos porque Rodrigo va manejando. Um, okay, okay. Ah, va manejando. So Josué and Oscar. Ready. Lights, camera, action. Please send the package. Yes, ma'am. Do you, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those uh, memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the news interns. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. Now, next group, please, Ana Celia and Blanca Isabel. Please. Light send camera action. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Very good. And finally, Marcela and Miguel. Watch camera action. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent people. Nice pronunciation. Congratulations. Just let me point out something. Okay. For example, okay. this. Yes, ma'am is for a woman. Yes. 
What is the well, form for a man? Senora. Teacher. No, this is for a woman. Okay. But what, what is the word for man? Sister. And what does mean mama? Madam. Uh -huh. yeah, that is very formal, very polite for a woman. The question is, what about for a man? Woman, a man. Sir. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Sir. And form is yes, sir. My okay. Now, uh oh. Yes, sir, or, or también Mr. Teacher se, se puede. No, because uh, when you respond this way, it's better to say, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what is the meaning of, uh, give me, no, not Spanish. I want a synonym in English for Right away. Think about, I don't want Spanish. I don't want to be sure right now. Okay, could be right now. Uh -huh. In this moment. In this moment. Okay, right now. Mm. Common. Mm -hmm. Very common mm -hmm. immediately. Muy rico esto, In, what are you eating, man? Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. You show it the pupusas there. Don't don't off the camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay, right away. So it's like in, in this moment, right now, immediately. Please write a memo about this thing. Please give me. No. No. Not. Please give me one of those stickers. Number three. Please supervise. Supervise. Supervise the new interns. Okay. Teacher, nos, nosotros solo le pusimos el write, el give, y el supervise. Okay, no problem. So this, okay. this please would be optional. Uh, it's more polite. Okay. Do you know what I mean with polite? Educado. Uh -huh. Okay, so these are uh, commands. Okay, so these are commands. Commands are direct instructions 
or orders to do something. Direct instructions or orders to do something. Those are commands. To sound more polite, to sound more polite, use please plus command. Yeah, to sound more polite. Exam. Only use teacher, only use for order. Well, yeah, these are commands. Commands yeah. are instructions. And actually, okay. when we talk about commands, we are talking about imperative tense. This is imperative tense. Okay. We use the imperative to give instructions or orders. We have some, uh, in these examples, you see, please to be at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Please place an order for more boxes. Or call the supervisor, please. So we can use please at the beginning or at the end. Any question here? Is clear, teacher. Clear like horchata. Yes. <laughs> we have here more commands. Okay, more commands. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Okay, so we have different commands. Okay. What other commands can you mention? Talking about uh, your work. Can you write in the chat, please, other commands that you may give or you receive from others at work? Please write in the chat. Okay, please send a report. And at work, please send a location to write a report. Well, that is not a command, that is a question. Please review the report. Yeah, just a key, check the report. In different, more different commands that you give or receive work. Okay.
Okay. Be careful. Commands, we, we don't use question marks for commands. By the spare part. Okay. We supervise and limit the activities. More commands. Okay, that's all. Okay. Forget about this issue. Okay, I want you to write six commands you uh, will probably receive next week from your boss. Write six commands that, that you probably are going to receive from your boss next week. Let me write some of, in my case, my case probably my boss is going to ask me, please tell your students to turn on their camera. Probably they're going to tell me that. Or upload all the videos to YouTube. Tell your students to complete the homework. Me, okay? Or upload your students' grades, please. Please send the accent. Complete the report of your class. Teacher, the number three is a subliminal message. <laughs> Not that subliminal, very direct. Direct. <laughs> okay. And let me see. Let's think about a negative don't uh, this might be subliminal. 
Don't let your students eat in cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, maybe they my my. No, so these are some. But look at this. This is a negative command. Yeah. Don't let your students eat in class. Please. <laughs> no, please. They are very polite. <laughs> Okay, so this is my example, okay? I want you to write some commands you think you are going to receive from your boss next week. When you finish, raise your hand. Los millennials dicen, ah, que coma dice, ve. <laughs> Así agarran eso. Que coma está poniendo en aceite, dice. I'm drinking my cocoa, coconut milk. De hecho, a nosotros un maestro de universidad una vez nos dijo, porque nosotros decíamos leche de almendras, ah. una, una, una bebida, ajá, y, ajá. y no se puede nombrar o llamar leche a algo que no provenga de una glándula mamaria. <laughs> ah, bueno, entendido. Porque hay gente que dice leche de coco, leche de, yeah, de almendra. In the leche supermarket, de... uh -huh. the supermarket, this is no, time for the attendance. Milk coco. Yeah, the supermarket, this is coconut milk. Uh -huh. Milk de soya. Yes. Dice que no, no. It's incorrect. Okay. Okay, Andrea is done. is done. I'm going to take the second attendance while you are working, okay? Ana Celia Mena. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Okay. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Okay. Diana Vanessa Lopez. Edgar Eduardo Garcia. Present teacher. Edith Maritza Gómez. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Uh, Fernando, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are for you today. Okay. Okay. Erson Orlando de Odanes. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present. Irma Mercedes Flores. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Eh, Manuel Alberto Mena. Alberto. Que enseñe la pupusa. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Oscar René Molina. Present. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present. Raúl Enrique Campos. 
Do you want Rick Hernandez? Present. Okay. Ana Lizette Perez. And Josue Balmore Cruz. Present. Okay, continue with your commands.
me see four hands. Okay, I'm going to put you in groups and I want you to share your commands with the, um, your classmates, okay? Okay, go to your groups, please, and share your comments with your classmates.
being recorded. Okay. I'd like to hear some of your possible commands. All right? So let's start with Andrea. Tell me two. Okay. Um, complete your planning, please. And send the report every night, please. Ah, okay, good. Josue. Sorry, teacher. Eh, se cortó el, el, el audio. Eh, please go to the production floor y um, don't drink coffee in the office. Ooh, okay, good. Eh, Marcela. All right. Este, please don't forget the post. And please have everything ready for the dinner with doctors. Okay, good. Blanca. Um, please finish account reconciliation. Please uh, stay to work. Rafael. Voy, teacher, voy, teacher. Ahorita no las encuentro, no se las hice. Aquí está. Eh, please send the email. Go to a hands of, of the audience, please. Okay. Eh, Margarita. Sí. Um, please call customers to sell arguments please visit all a shoulder doctors uh, Oscar okay pass reports on monthly expenses and de decide on contracts import okay Please give me the labels by the product. Please print the inventory reports now. Okay. Miguel. Please write a report of the findings. Please send an email with the progress of your monthly planning. Okay. Awesome. Please send the profit and loss report and please analyze the information about the margin of the products. Okay. Oh, your boss is very polite, people. Everyone says please. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, very good. That is all about commands. Let's see. Any question, people, so far? No? Not. Right. Let's continue then with lesson three. In this lesson, you will be able to say the frequency of activities you do in and use expressions to state the urgency or commands. Okay, expressions to state the urgency or commands. Okay, let's 
let's see, we have a couple of questions here. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, write in the chat. Three things you do every day at work. Three things you do every day at work. Okay, write in the chat. All right, drink coffee, go to the bathroom. No. Okay. Uh, drink coffee is not part of your work. That is not part of your job. Hey, very good. Let's see. Take inventories, review specification, process visas, uh, generate inventories, print reports. Do the online bank. Emails and information, sub products and Okay, very good, very good. Then, what is the next question? Ah, what is something you never do in your workplace? What is something you never do in your workplace? Okay, write it in the chat, please. Something you never do. I don't believe you. Uh, something you never do is a sleep. Uh, late, uh, never, uh, or not late, okay, never do inventories, okay, all clients do inventory, sell products, okay, uh, never do, what else? Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. At atender, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Solo, solo el, el verbo atender, ¿cómo, cómo se escribe? Perdón. Uh, sí. Atender. 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 Atender.
Eso quería poner, atender clientes. Eso no lo hago, teacher. Ok. this uh, text. This text is about Mr. Wilson. You have to correct the se sentences. No. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Okay, you have to check the correct sentences, but especially correct wrong, the wrong sentence about this, okay? I mean, read the text and check true or false. That's it. Okay, read the paragraph and check true or false. And the false sentences have to correct them here. For example, hello, my name is John Wilson. First, his name is John Wilkins. Oh, no, that's False. What is the correct sentence? Okay. His name, His his name, name is John Wilson. John Wilson. Okay. okay. This is what you are going to do. I'll, I'll put you in groups to work on this, okay? Including groups, groups. Okay, go to your groups and complete that exercise. Do in ten minutes.
of friends in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. He he attend attends. Ah, esta no lleva ese como no. Ah, no, Porque pero este... este nombre, compañero, dale la vuelta, dale la vuelta. He, he often attends. No, ahí está bien. He often attends. Porque primero va el. el, 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 el ¿Qué? <risa> el adverbio. Y usted que decía falso. Aunque dice siempre, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque dice siempre. Eso le iba, ah, pues le iba a decir sí, yo. es cierto, es falso, compañero, ¿verdad? tiene razón. Sí, es de leer, falso. interpretar bien. Sí, Ajá. falso. Eh, dice, he... He always. Always. He open, he open at meetings in the afternoon, sería. Solo he often. He's uh -huh. often. He often attend meetings in the afternoon. Así quedaría. Ah. Ok. Eh, the six. Sería. False. False. Porque dice. In my company, we always have events. Y aquí no sería, ay, ¿qué sería? No sería true. Eh, no tendría que ser false. Es que no está negando, es que no está negando, sino que el siempre eh. y usualmente. Ajá, y la siete, pero... entonces le ponemos falso. Yo lo he puesto como falso porque él always lo he puesto. He always have events. Ya no van a sacar. He has to go to conference on Yul. Falso también, ¿verdad? Porque es Yul 21. Sí. Uh, así es. Entonces, eh... O sea que solo una. una...
is being recorded. Okay, let's check your work. Okay, number uh, two, he writes reports every day. Is that true or false? False, false, false. What is the truth? He checks his email every every day. Every day. Hey. Okay. Number three. Or never answer the phone and talk to customers. True. False. False. He always True. answer the but, phone. But answer uh, and talk with employees, not with He's customers. He's false. Uh -huh. Correct. He always answered the phone and talked to potential employees. En ese caso no sería cierto el enunciado porque el enunciado dice que nunca habla con los clientes y eso es cierto sino que habla con potenciales empleados. En... Nosotros la misma duda teníamos sí. también. Ajá, entonces yo siento que el enunciado es cierto, Ajá. porque en realidad sí, es cierto. no habla. Sí, es clientes. cierto, porque él nunca habla con los, con los clientes, habla con los potenciales empleados. Okay. No hace nada, Richard. Relax. Es viernes. <risa> el que se enoja pierde. <laughs> okay, so it's true. False. Number four. He often attends meetings in the morning. True or false? True. 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 Okay. Five. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. False. 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 Why? He's so he often. often. He often attend meetings in the afternoon. Often. Mm -hmm. Not that one. He often attends meetings. Six. He usually has events in his company. True or false? False. 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 He always. Always. Yes. Uh, 
He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. False. 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 Yo le puse true. It's false because on July 22nd, he has to go a, a meeting about the conference. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. Oh, yeah. Just let's take a quick look to this conversation. Well, any question with this text? Let me record, I'm going to read it aloud and I will record the pronunciation, okay? Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay. Now let's take a quick look to this vocabulary of, about expressions to state urgency or expressions to express or state urgency. Okay, we have just two, at least two here. It's very important. I really need. So these are two expressions you can use to state that something is very urgent to you. Look at this short conversation. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important right away okay so a couple of things that are really urgent to mark let me read it again i really need that memo well i'm going to record it as well i really need that memo just a moment please i need to speak to mr wilson Please, it's very important, right away. What's the meaning of right away? Okay, people, what is the meaning of right away? De inmediato. Uh-huh, uh-huh, right away. So right now, immediately. Okie dokie, now let's practice one couple of times. Repeat, please. I really need that memo, Brie. <laughs> I, I really, really need, need that memo, memo, memo. Brie. Just a moment, please. Just, Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. I need to, 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 to,
Right. Right away. Okay. Okay, very good. Remember that the stress. The stress in this word in im is here. A fuerza va acá. Important. Important. Por ahí escuché. Important. No. It's important. Okay. Okay, but we are going to continue with this on Monday. Okay. It's time to stop tonight. So I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening. So please, cameras on and respond when you listen to your name. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Okay. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Okay. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Good. Diana Vanessa Lopez. She's working. Uh, Edgar Eduardo Garcia. Present. Okay. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Ok. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present, maestro. Ok. Irma Mercedes Flores. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present. Good. Johnny Alexander Escobar, not tonight. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Good. Present. Okay. Manuel Alberto Mena. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Raul Enrique Campos. Not responding. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Okay. Annalise Perez and Josue Balmore Cruz. Present. Okay, people. That's all for tonight. Please uh, work in the platform. Complete the homeworks, okay? Okay. Unit two, remember that for Tuesday, you need to finish unit two and the midterm exam. Okay, people, have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Hey, Happy, Happy weekend. Happy weekend. See you later. Bye. I stay with Fernando only. Hola, teacher. Hola, Fernando. No sientes que estoy algo aquí catareado conmigo. Que apenas 10 días tiene, 11 días tiene. Ah. Sí, por eso es que casi no he estado activo en la clase. Ah, ok. Muy bien. 
Sí, pero ahí vamos tratando de entenderle todo. Sí, 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 qué bueno, pero todo bien con niño o niña es, ¿qué dijiste? Niño. 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 Ok, todo bien. Sí. Gracias wow. a Dios, sí, me todo bien hasta el momento, no se ha enfermado, todo salió bastante bien. Solo que ella quedó algo delicada, entonces me toca que cuidarla a mí bastante. Bueno, bueno, la idea de estos minutitos es este, resolver alguna duda, alguna inquietud. Pues, no, ahí voy tratando de comprender y si no me apoyo, pues en, en los datos que en la guía. Pues. Ok. Con las tareas. Ah, las tareas. Teacher, si no pude hacer la, la tarea, digamos, la semana pasada fue, según yo, siempre se iban a cerrar los, los o sea, para el fin de semana. Pero no es así, ¿verdad? Esta vez se cierra martes. Que es final de, 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 de semana, ¿verdad? Sí, pero la, la plataforma sigue abierta, pues, o sea. Bye, no, pues voy a tratar de... Sí, porque ahorita ya, ya, ya hice Yo pensé que no me, no, no me iba a contar la, Haberlo hecho o sea, Ya en estos días Pero ahorita ya me puse al día En la plataforma pues No le escucho muy bien, teacher. Oh, bueno, que ya veo que estás al día con la unidad 1 y ya avanzaste con la unidad 2 también. Sí, ya. Ya estoy casi que al día. O Se me falta creo que unas dos lecciones de la unidad 2. Y el examen. De... Y el examen del de... midterm. Pero sí, ya. Bueno, ya en estos días, hasta el martes tenemos, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Hasta el martes a medianoche. Sí. Ah, ok. Ah, pues no, no creo que me afecte eso, ¿verdad? Mm. No sé si es la señal mía o qué, teacher, pero casi que no le... Yo sí te escucho bien. Ah, pues quizás mis señales, qué triste. Bueno, algo que quisieras que reforcemos. ¿Tú? Mm. Mm. Esto que estábamos viendo hoy, este, eso uh, de decir sería solo en forma en forma positiva o también en forma negativa se estaría usando sí se puede verdad cuando negativo es normalmente siempre se está usando la forma contractada dicho sí Lo más práctico. Por ejemplo, si te digo don't play work. Please, adelante. Please don't be late for work. Don't 
de darle un... No siempre se empieza con el verbo, ¿verdad? O sí. Usualmente, cuando tú das instrucciones, si, si estamos viendo el please, que puede ser al final, pueden oír, y comenzamos con el verbo. Por ejemplo, cuando tú lees las instrucciones para, qué no sé yo, como una receta, una receta de cocina. ¿Verdad? No wash the vegetables. Cut the vegetables. Cut the vegetables in water. Y en, y en negativo. Este, por lo menos arriba lo estaba viendo y si es en negativo siempre se estaría empezando con el please o se puede decir don't be late for work claro, sí, el please es una formalidad estaría diciendo la palabra completa por favor en español don't smoke Pero si, siempre puedo decir como que don't smoke, please. Sí. Es lo mismo. Solamente el orden del palabra, de las palabras casi. Claro. Mm. Ok. Escrito cuando el please va al final. El inglés más que todo es verbo, ¿verdad, teacher? Eh, sí, todo el idioma. Importante. Verbos, vocabulario. Porque ahí lo demás es como que lo mismo todo el tiempo. Las formas. Tiempos son parecidos. Lo malo que cambian los verbos dependiendo en qué tiempo se están cambian, usando. Ca cambian más en español. Uh -huh. Cambian más en español. Sí. <risa> Dicen que el español es el idioma más, más de, complicado de aprender. Es complicado. ¿eh? Hay más formas verbales. Ni en el inglés, solo las reglas. <risa> Igual en español, pero hay cosas prácticos. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, Fernando, bueno, sería todo entonces. Cualquier cosa, bueno. estamos a la hora. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, have a good, good night. night. Take care. Yes.